Hello, Scor Hello, Scorpios. Welcome to your reading for this is Sunday, uh, March 24th. We're getting ready to go into our Monday. So uh, this could take it. So anyway, tomorrow, Monday, is, is lunar eclipse. So make sure you get out. You might be feeling a very intense right now. And you might be feeling frustrated, headaches. Just understand that's part of the, the um, changes in the universe. So uh, maybe just kind of take it easy during these next few days, okay? And the retrograde, retrograde is here. So a lot of things are going on. And plus the solar eclipse is coming up in April 8th. So let's see what Scorpio, uh, this card wanted to come out. You have communication here, really. Who have you been talking to, Scorpio? So let's see. I'm going to put my camera down just a little bit more so you can kind of see that. All right. So for Angel Guys and Spirits for Scorpio, for Scorpio. All right, so you have the Ten of Cups again. Somebody's wanting to talk to you. Well, I'm going to put my little, um, I'm going to pull it up a little bit. Uh, the lamp, this is my crystal, <laughs> you know, that's my, like, I love to meditate over that. Ooh, Scorpio. Okay. From the cup, somebody is coming back towards you here. Okay, this is like... <laughs> This could be your energy or their energy. Um, they're kind of looking to get back with you. Um, Ten of Cups and want to communicate and want to start with you, right? So that's just right off the bat. Somebody who has you been missing. So let's see. What has held this relationship up? What has been the problem for this relationship? Okay, well, I just want to know. Curious mom wants to know. Okay, Scorpio. All right. So what has happened here with your person's energy from before? Um, this is both your person's energy, your energy. You know, just take it as that resonates. Um, but there is somebody here that won't. And I feel like this is your person's energy, Scorpio, that you're looking at. Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, Six of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Okay. And you have the Hermit card coming out. Um, someone is trying to finally starting to realize who you are. I don't know why I'm getting this message, but I feel like it's someone that you have been dealing with, that you have been struggling with, someone to get on the same page with you. Page of swords, get it? <laughs> Made a little in the window there. But on the page of swords with you, wants to communicate, wants to watch you. They want, they looking at messages, you know, all that good stuff, right? This looks very different what has happened scorpio you had changed your energy something has happened here but with the reason that this person did not come forward with you in the past um is because they were heartbroken over something that was done unfair to them and this held back a com a commitment with you this held back being stable with you they weren't happy with themselves. They were just, they, they're with a group of people that was holding them back, is what I'm hearing. Or with a third party. I don't mean necessarily it has to be um, a person that they were, they liked. I don't see that. I see something like a mother, a father, um, a roommate, you know, someone that was talking bad or had gaslit them. Or make it brainwash them into believing that this relationship is, was not for them. Could have been a different culture. Could have been a different race. But they are waking up, Scorpio. As I said in my other video, this is waking up. They're coming to their wisdom. They're coming to their things like, wow, wait. Uh, you know, they went through this cycle of, this is a cycle I call it, okay? They went through this cycle and heartbreak maybe it's from a past person they have been in a relationship with they had not healed those wounds um they could have been in a third party situation where they were with someone and that person brought in somebody else into the relationship do you follow me so they felt like this is unfair and, and they told themselves they're not going to com commit to anyone ever again because of this tragedy, this trauma, this hurt, this pain, this suffering that kind of came in through that heartbreak. So that made whatever happened in their, pa their past, Scorpio, 
could be your past. But whatever happened in this situation, it was caused by an outside third party before you got in a relationship with this person. Now, again, this could have happened to you before you got in a relationship with this person. But nonetheless, the person here now is seeing the light about you. They're coming to wisdom about you. They're starting to learn that, well, you know what? Not everyone is bad. Not every man is bad. Not every woman is bad. Take it, you know, whichever one you like. But I need to get back to Scorpio. Scorpio was offered me a lot on the table. Scorpio has been there with me all this time. And I rejected Scorpio. I didn't give Scorpio my heart. Because they couldn't. They were not ready for you, Scorpio. And then now they see that because of this third party and this heartbreak that they have experienced, they learned that this pain should not have came to you. That they took their luggage, which is not your fault, Scorpio, at all. Could be the, a Scorpio done this to the cross watcher. I don't know. Nobody's perfect. But what I'm saying in this story, that they were so severely hurt from the past person, it traumatized them. It broke their heart. And when they met you, they thought, this is not going to last because Scorpio, all people do me wrong. So Scorpio, I do feel like here, see that's the bottom of the card. Look at this. Okay, I can't, this King of Pentacles, I'm going to stop right there. But the top three cards, you saw me shuffle. They're wanting this relationship. They probably love you more than you're loving them now. They want a marriage, a serious commitment here with you. And this King of Pentacles now, male or female, is now serious with you. Okay? So what I'm getting from your person on their energy here, Scorpio, uh, they, they know they couldn't commit it to you before because of their heartbreak. And, and they were scared. And they felt like, you know, if I get with Scorpio, open my heart, Scorpio's going to hurt me like the other person did. I'm not taking that risk. So, Scorpio, they actually came out of their heartbreak. And now they're seeing what a wonderful person you are. Now, this is completely up to you on free will. But some of you out there have gave this person a lot of, um, you know challenging you were on them a lot about how they treated you you told them your facts and this is what made them believe in you scorpio because you stood up for yourself and you showed them you were not going to be taking someone else's pain that caused them put on you and that's what they did and they recognized it here they recognize it with the hermit card and this king of pentacles now he or she is wanting to be serious with you. They start to understand what a relationship with you can be like. They want everything with you. They want the reconciliation. They think about you. They they think about they can have everything that they ever wanted. And they start to realize why this past person didn't work out. And they cannot blame you for, the, for things that happen. So they're starting to open their heart, Scorpio. And again, this could be your energy, Scorpio, as well. But I'm reading from the mindset of your person and how your person is thinking. Okay? So that's your person's thinking. So let's go into... I'm going to put the cards back and separate them. Okay? And I'm going to see your energy because I used a lot of cards here. So I want to put this person back and see if we um, see anything different. From their energy and yours. So let's see what happens. And, um, and I'm going to shuffle the cards again. And see if you have matching energy. This is something a little different I'm doing. Alright. So let's see what happens. Okay. See if you're marrying each other. That's what I'm going to look for. But this person is definitely wanting to come back to you Scorpio. And get this right with you. Okay. So let's see. All right, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's give a couple five sh some shuffling here. 
So Scorpio, if you like re personal reading, let me know. But this person is, you see what I'm saying? Reconciliation. Let's see what comes out for you. Let's look into Scorpio's energy. Now you know what your person's feeling. Okay, and that could have been your energy. So take, if this is your reading, uh, the per first reading was for you, then this is going to be for your person, okay? So take it as not resonates, but as it comes to you. Okay, I'm channeling a lot right now from you and Scorpio's energy connecting with their person. There's that justice card again. Not a cups. Okay, let me get one more for connecting and mutual energies. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, in your connect your energy or your person's, which you flip it if you want to. Um, you both are highly in the energy of six of cups. You explain this to me, Scorpio. You have not made a decision on this person. Maybe deep down inside that you wanted this person to go away and you were angry, you were upset, you were frustrated because you felt like this person did not treat you right. They didn't love you They and they were making you unhappy. They made you miserable. But that's because of their trauma that they had in the re relationship prior to you. Okay? So, but you said, you know, you would love to be with this person. Okay, and you didn't, have not given up on this person, even though you told them you did. You wanted this to um, work, you know, you wanted it so bad to work out. But I do see here, Scorpio, you still have some feelings for this person. You're trying to change this situation. Wow, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. And the connecting energy is the Page of Pentacles. So what we have here, Scorpio... You have, now remember that's their connecting energy, okay? Um, that's how you felt towards your person. But now you want to transform it. Here with the Six of Cups. You want a new start. You want a new beginning. You want to leave the past behind. And you still are in the, the um, Two of Swords at the crossroads. You are in that confused state. But you're starting to give this person another chance. Now, I'm not saying this is for all Scorpios, but there's somebody out here that you were really in love with. Really, really in love with. And it doesn't matter what happens. This is the thing I'm getting. You you were struggling with this person, and you laid down the law with this person. You told them what's what, and they, they listened. You know, for some reason, they were listening to you. They weren't listening at that moment, but like days later, they took you into consideration. Because you felt like this was not going anywhere. But now, you're hoping that they're going to come back towards you. And communicate with you. Because you have the, I don't know how I did that, but the Ten of Pentacles here. Ten of Swords, I mean, Ten of, ooh, I don't want to jinx it. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles here. A commitment, a new beginning, a new beginning and commitment. And you start to feel, and this person's going to apologize to you. It's going to take a lot for this person to apologize. So if they come to you and apologize, you don't have to take them back. But I do see here that you're going to, to with that King of Pentacles that we were talking about earlier, you're going to accept that pinnacle because you're going to start realizing that they're making this effort towards you. And it's going to change because sometimes before they were not... Um, they were not showing effort and they were not giving you what you deserved, but you told them what you were deserved. You stood up to them and they, they had a new awakening with that hermit card from before. So now, because you're starting to see that something's changing in you, Scorpio. I don't know why, but this feels like a twin flame. I mean, energy, I'm feeling like it's twin flame. Okay, so let's see what happens with the both of you, okay? So I'm going to put these cards back. And I could use another deck, but I don't want to because I just started seeing things that just intuition-wise. And I want to see if it's going to um, let you decide. Okay, 
I want, uh, let me make sure it's going in the right direction, right? So, um, and wants to see how it comes out. Okay. So let's shuffle the cards. And this is going to be for your outcome. Uh, what your advice is for the outcome for Scorpio. Between you and your partner, your lover, friend. You know, it could be a friend here that you had fallen out with. I'm not sure who it is. So let's see what this is about and how it's going to resonate for you. One, two, three, four, five. Show me the cards for Scorpio and their person. It's a chariot. Four swords. And you have the four of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're still struggling with a little bit with this person. But it looks like here you're kind uh, of came in sideways. Um, eight of swords in reverse. Okay. Now you did break up. But here's the vice. Okay. All right. To make it work. There's that ten of pentacles again. Okay. You see what I'm saying? If you want this to work. Scorpio. You got to move forward from the past. Let the old issues go. As your transformation as a Scorpio, um, and that person also is trying to have a wake-up call, basically a new realization or spiritual waking. Uh, the Four of Swords here, you are looking at the chariot card about moving forward in the new direction in the main field here, right? The, the first card. So you are going to have to move forward and get past this heartbreak and this hurt and this break up you're just gonna have to move past it because it is going to keep you in this um you got to flip that card for it to work and what you're going to do is forget the past now you're not going to forget easy because of a scorpio energy you're not going to forget but this feels like a twin flame this is not for every uh to, to, to typical readers out there okay this is for somebody who's in twin flame where you easily I feel like whenever you get mad at someone and you truly love them is when, and I'm not talking about cheating, narcissist, or anything like that. I'm just talking about a breakup that happened because of a power struggle. That's why I feel like this is a power struggle. But you stood your ground with this person. And it was a challenge. And they had to either lose you or maybe they did lose you for a while. But because you're standing up for yourself, it made you become more attractive. So this four of wands, you know, getting out of the eight of swords is the vice here. If you want this to be stable, you're going to have to put some forgiveness here. Uh, the temperance here, you lost patience. You're going to have to work on your patience because you get very overly sensitive emotionally. With a six of swords, you did try to move on. You were sad. You were, you felt rejected. And you wanted everything to calm down. And you want, you didn't have any peace in this situation. So the vice here, Scorpio, this commitment here is on the table. So you decide what you want. Do you want this to work out or, or not? So this person is going to have to, there's your happiness right here. For Scorpio on the, okay, full card. Uh, it says to take your time here. Don't be in it. Look at that, two of cups. Your twin flames here. They're manifesting each other. And there's the Scorpio card again, along with that her her hermit card. But let's get one more for Scorpio. Wow, this is a great reading um, for some of you out there. Some King of Swords out there. Uh, there's that Page of Cups again. I'm telling you, there's that. You saw me shuffle the cards. They're after their Queen at once. I mean, we can keep going. But they are you really your twin flame happiness. I mean, this is a, a pull, a push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. And they you both manifest in each other because you can't get each other off your brain. You just can't. 
I mean, some of you could be trauma bonded by a narcissist. I'm not talking about that. This is like a mint, like a twin flame um, reconciliation through the universe where both of your hearts and souls are coming together, back together after thousands of years. Okay, this is this is might be for a small percentage of you out there. Okay, let me know in the comments if you have you feel like this is a twin flame union because this looks like you're going to start over again, a new cycle. Okay, this King of Pentacles, the Death card, transformation. The, it's going to be very serious, and this King of Swords is want to take charge of this and communicate. They know they need to communicate, and look at this. There's that. Pay it not a swords change into the king of swords. They're trying to come back towards you. And you still have a lot of passion for this person. But it is a struggle. This has been a struggle for some of you. And I'm talking about, I don't even know how long you've been with this person. But it's like, they can't get past you. You've tried many times to move on. I don't know how many times. And it, you always come back to each other. Okay. It could be a narcissistic thing. But I don't see the devil here. But there are such, such things as two souls. That were split in heaven. And sent to a baby. Being born. In two different bodies. And those people have traveled. That same soul has traveled. Through different times. And different people. Humans. And now you two have found each other. And that's why you felt so comfortable when you first met this person on day one. And that love is hard to change. And they feel that same thing too. They probably didn't believe that this was a soulmate union. But this is. This is coming from the universe. Okay. You see the, you see the in common connection, connection through the spirit of the universe. Okay, so some of you have been torn and struggling because you had a runner and a chaser. And some people are going to say in the comments, I don't believe in that. Well, don't believe in it. These are only two the people that, that, if you know this has been your experience, let me know in the comments. Because this is somebody that you feel like it doesn't matter if you date 10 more people, you're going to still be remembering this person. And until you both solve the problem and understand this life lesson, you will not be able to move on. This spirit will c carry on for another hundred years. So it's good that you two get together and have a conversation whether you stay together or not. Okay? So you can, the soul contract is here to be signed. And, you know, you might stay together, you might not. Some twin flame stays together, some don't. But it is a struggle to be together. Okay? So Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Um, see the passion is for this person. But I do see a commitment here with that too. I think both of you want to be happy together. It's been such a problem with the distance and the... Um, there's distance between you, whether it's physical or um, actual distance, you know? Um, or emotional distance. But you both are desiring each other, even in different places. So this is a struggling soulmate karm. I mean, soulmate twin flame reunion. So even if you don't get back together, but you got to forgive each other. Something's got to happen, so you both can be released or have that relief, right? So some of you been together for a year, two years, five years, whatever it is. And you can, you, it's just like this person, no matter what you do, you get, you cannot get them off your mind for years, even if you're not with them. It's like you can feel them sitting beside you. All right, Scorpio, that's my time. Uh, it's 24 minutes almost, 25 minutes almost. So give me a thumbs up if you like this reading. If you like a personal reading, especially on Twin Flames, let me know. Um, and give me, subscribe to the channel. I am Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon. And I am reading here for Scorpios because I understand all my Scorpios and where you're coming from. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. Um, and also, if you like a personal reading, look in the description box. 
and look at my other videos okay that might help you understand where this is at so take a look at my other videos i have posted especially on the ones in the last week or so take a look at those all right scorpio i'll see you then much love and light have a great monday and i'll talk to you soon and best wishes on the lunar eclipse take care Bye bye